Hi, welcome to the 3D Pen Den. In talking about setting up a 3D Pen Studio, we have covered the most obvious topics like surfaces and 3D8 tools. Now let's talk about the tools you may not need all the time, but occasionally you cannot do without them, like heat tools. 3D pens are essentially also heat tools. They allow you to shape the plastic filament into any shape you wish, but they have their limits, especially when it comes to the surface finish, which ends up looking usually rather stringy. While the pen can get you to here, you will need a different heat tool to get to here, and then some more tools to get to here. Despite that, you can get any surface pattern you want, or any surface texture you wish, with applying different heat tools in the right order. Some of these techniques only work on flat surfaces, but then you can strategically use a different heat technique to shape it into a 3D part later, like so, or so. Heat post-processing 3D pen prints is mostly about how much heat to apply and where. If you want the details on all this, watch this video. The link is in the description below. That video is a good overview of heat tool techniques and possibilities. But really, each of these tools needs its own video on how to use it and why which we won't get to today because our two minutes are up. 